I can start liking uh, like keeping Howl to have a cycle turn four. Against the warrior, it's also probably good to have branching, but probably not. It's better to just fish for having infestation. So lizard pool just subbed. Thanks a lot, man. Glad you liked the stream. So it's good to get rid out of Doomsters early before he can silence it uh, since I have the branching path, so... Is he saving the board? That's fine. I still save the branching because I don't know which direction the game will go. I don't need to like, you know, be super fast with my combo. The, the warrior is not a, not a, you know, great, not that great at threatening me. So I just jam the minions and keep the flexible options. Oh, Lizard Pool is saying, like your content and your playlist. Maybe check my band on Spotify or visit us in Prague. My band is called Lizard Pool. I will, I will. That's very really cool. Thanks, thanks for suggestion. Oh, that's amazing. Still have one inner weight, so we don't worry about, about the combo. And it's important to keep the flexible cards for the end, like Starfall, or because uh, you just need to worry uh, to have a chance to, you know, utilize the resources the way that, that you have empty board and you can combo him out. So the Starfall is the card you should keep till the very last end. So we need to get rid out of two plagues and Malfurion, but we have a lot of removal. So we just balance it. We will probably utilize the branching paths. So we overdraw a card, which I kind of like, I have to say. Because we have all the combo pieces we need. And the safest way for me by far is that if he has the minion. So now I have two swipes that can, can be used however I want. I have a Starfall to kill. And with Malfurion, I... So the question is, do I jam the Mecha Tune or do I... Do I have it with Floop? This both looks fine. So now we just need to get rid of Floop and we can do that with the Starfall if we want. So we just need some time to play all the cards. So like that's why the Starfall is so so flexible card. Like you can use it on your own removal, uh, on your own minion to remove it or you can just you can just get rid of that. So that's the be best card you can have in the late game for these, uh, you know, co controlish matchups where your opponent's win condition is that you don't have a way how to activate the mecha tune.
So yeah, this this worked very clean away. So against the Shami, you have to act like a, a card a card advantage factory. So basically, all the card draw you want to go and get. So we need to have a way how to kill kill the mana tide. We are not worrying about being killed with this Prince Kala said, so. Do this. Maybe I will take it back after I die, but. Maybe we'll play Double Storm or... I guess we, now we have to play the Spellstone or the right. We can be realistically killed. Now we can get MC tech. Maybe I should uh, trade and suicide one. I didn't want to naturalize because I don't want to speed him up with the with his combo. It's funny that I have issues with life total versus versus the shami. It can makes my life way harder in terms of fatigue. I will play draw infestation soon. We need to play infestation next turn, so I need to create space in my hand and I would do all of this next turn anyway, so it's rather better to kill them now, all of these resources. So next turn we play infestation, hopefully we grab the tyrant. So where do we target? We kill this, yes. 10, 12 on the board. We have we have double howl index, so we survive Storm plus Life Drinker. And we wanna dodge Hiff's card draw as hard as we can. And he didn't have the storms like that's how I felt. He can go Hagata. Still not quite okay. I have very good outs in my deck. I think uh, yeah, one Doomster would be a really bad draw in terms of staying alive, but then I have a Plague Giggling, House to Cyclone, Get Life. So it looks quite decent. I'm faster with my combo, definitely. Now it gets tricky. I would love to dodge his card draw, but on the other hand, if I attack here, I go to five and I can be that lava burst out of the Hagata. So that's something I dislike a lot. It's It was pity that I didn't draw the Howl yet, but soon I have a little. And hopefully I will not draw the, another Doomsayer. That would be really bad. Obviously best would be to draw both Howls, 
cycle them and then heal 12 and then play double doomser and set up a lethal. So I didn't play any live drinker yet, that's really sweet. Okay, Howl is amazing. So I draw and heal. So next turn we can Howl, naturalize Zoomster armor up and then we have a combo. So it looks very promising. Because now if he has the Airshock, that's something, or Hex. Then I have a minion so I can pressure with, so. And I have second Doomster to threaten him. Like now he could do that to the Doomster proc and I would have no way how to get rid of Naturalize. This is the best way. He used both hexes, and obviously he cannot cast the Shadow Walk. I have a Naturalize for Nuke, so... If he doesn't do anything. He cannot play Shadow Walk uh, because it would kill the frog. But it doesn't look good. <sighs> Hi guys, thanks for watching. It makes me real happy that you always go to my channel and check out my daily videos. I'm so proud about the community we made and I hope you'll enjoy the videos in the future as well. So if you forget, just hit the subscribe button and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.